A vineyard owner watches his million-dollar property about to burn. Water evaporates before it hits the ground. The same exact spot that killed 1,500 homes in 2020 is burning again. But this time we know exactly why it keeps happening. August 21st, 2025, 3 p.m., Calistoga, California. The picket fire, which broke out in the rugged terrain of Napa County on August 21st and is still burning, has already scorched more than 6,800 acres of California's prized wine country. Over 2,000 firefighters are battling flames, threatening 600 structures, as 150 residents evacuate under mandatory orders. This isn't just another California wildfire story. This fire is burning in the exact same location as the devastating 2020 glass fire that destroyed 1,500 structures. Same place, different cause, same deadly potential. And here's the shocking truth. This fire was 100% preventable. I'll show you the $2 million solution that could have stopped a $50 million disaster. Right now, 13% containment means 87% of this fire remains uncontrolled. 10 helicopter crews drop water while firefighters work steep slopes where some areas can only be reached by air. The numbers tell a stark story. 360 more residents under evacuation warnings, millions of dollars in wine industry assets at risk, and temperatures hitting 94 degrees with afternoon winds fueling the flames. But here's what the news won't tell you. Why does this exact spot in Napa County keep burning? California's Mediterranean climate creates a deadly fire equation. Wet winters grow vegetation, then dry summers turn that same vegetation into kindling. But Napa Valley amplifies this danger through its unique geography. The picket fire burns in steep canyon terrain 80 miles north of San Francisco. These slopes act like chimneys, creating updrafts that accelerate fire spread. When afternoon winds hit these canyon systems, they don't just push fire forward. They launch burning embers across containment lines. Current humidity levels are dropping while temperatures maintain mid-90s. This combination creates fuel moisture content below critical thresholds. Dead timber from the 2020 glass fire still litters these slopes, mixed with new grass and brush that grew back after the fire, then dried out again. Here's the data that explains everything. The glass fire burned 105 square miles in 2020, driven primarily by wind. The picket fire burns the same terrain, but with a different driver. Accumulated dead vegetation on slopes where fire suppression never addressed the underlying fuel load. Temperature records show this August averaging 5-7 degrees above normal. Humidity readings consistently below 20% during afternoon hours. Wind patterns following the same afternoon intensification that drove the glass fire's worst damage. But first, let me reveal something that will shock you. The exact cost breakdown of why California chooses to let these fires happen instead of preventing them. The glass fire spread through wind-driven ember attacks. The picket fire spreads through ground fuel consumption on steep slopes. This difference matters because containment strategies that worked in 2020 don't work now. Fire intensity measurements show BTU output 30% higher than typical grass fires due to heavy timber fuel loads. Flame lengths reaching 15 to 20 feet make direct attack impossible in many areas. Firefighters must create containment lines hundreds of yards from active fire edges. The economic factor. Napa Valley generates billions in wine revenue. Vineyard owner Jason Woodbridge watched flames approach his 100-acre property spraying water that evaporated before hitting the ground. His quote, it was just a hot funnel of air. Fire was just engulfing everything. This isn't just property damage, it's agricultural infrastructure that takes decades to rebuild. Wine grapes approaching harvest represent a year's investment. Smoke contamination can destroy entire vintages, even if flames never reach the vines. Could this fire have been prevented? The brutal truth, Yes, through fuel management, that never happened. After the 2020 glass fire, dead timber removal was incomplete. Controlled burns that could have reduced fuel loads were limited by air quality regulations and insurance liability concerns. The same conditions that created the glass fire disaster 
were allowed to rebuild over five years. Specific prevention failures in this area. Fuel breaks along ridge lines were maintained, but not expanded. Dead tree removal focused on roadside access, not interior fire spread routes. Controlled burn windows were available in spring 2024 and 2025, but not utilized due to permit delays. The technology exists. Infrared fuel moisture monitoring, weather prediction models accurate to 72 hours, helicopter-based fuel treatment in steep terrain. But implementation requires coordination between federal land management, county fire departments, and private landowners that hasn't happened. Other fire-prone regions solve this problem differently. Australia conducts mandatory fuel reduction burns on rotating schedules. Mediterranean countries use grazing animals to maintain fuel breaks. Portugal integrates fire-resistant landscaping requirements into building codes. California has the resources, but not the regulatory framework to implement comprehensive fuel management. The picket fire burns because the conditions that created the glass fire were never addressed. They were just rebuilt. As we record this, Containment has increased from 11% to 13%. That 2% improvement required 2,000 firefighters working around the clock in 94 degree heat. The cost of suppression will exceed $50 million. The cost of fuel management that could have prevented this fire? Approximately $2 million over five years. The residents of Pope Valley, Etna Springs, and Calistoga face evacuation, not because wildfires are inevitable in California, but because fuel management is optional. The picket fire will eventually be contained. The same conditions that created it will begin rebuilding immediately. Without systematic fuel management, this exact location will burn again within a decade. California doesn't have a wildfire problem. It has a fuel management problem that manifests as wildfire. Thanks for watching Mr. Tornado, where we uncover nature's most shocking surprises. If you found this analysis helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell for alerts when we break down the real causes behind disasters. Comment below, what prevention methods should California prioritize?